and uh, hi guys, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, the question really is why I'm here um, and why you should listen. Uh, I'm here because Connie asked me to do this little speech here because he thought uh, he has an investment club and uh, which he said it's kind of traditional money. No? Mm -hmm. So, And that actually was the reason why I said, hmm, I don't know if it's a good idea if I pitch you guys here because I don't want to sell anything. Uh, and uh, I don't want to argue, you know. So, but then I thought, why not? Yeah, I take the challenge because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this topic is so important in my eyes. I mean, really, it, it blew my mind several years ago and it's even getting more and more exciting. So I'm also traveling with my son, Paul, here in first row. Um, he is my best advisor, actually, yeah, when it comes to crypto. We, we are in the field since 2013. So actually, we experienced the thing uh, at the same day together. And since then, we got so excited. And what I'm going to tell you now will sound maybe science fiction, crazy. You, yeah, it's. I, I can imagine it's pretty hard for you to, to follow my path or, or follow my thoughts. And so, yeah, the only thing I really want to ask you before I start, try just to be open, you know, just let it flow. Don't argue with any topic I'm saying. Let, just let it flow till the end and then come to your conclusion. And then we, we ha may have an, a discussion afterwards at the dinner table. But now I think just let it in, okay? So, <laughs> so don't be afraid, you know? This is um, what I think, actually I gave this speech uh, uh, a year ago to TEDx, and uh, there were sitting, let's say, regular people uh, who, I was not sure how much they are got introduced into crypto, so I am not sure about you. I mean, of course I know there are some who are quite experienced, we had some talks beside, but I would assume, that's, at least that's what Connie told me, uh, the majority is not introduced in that topic, or let's say, uh, is just uh, uh, informed as the media is. So, whenever there is something which is new, has a potential to really fundamentally change the world, people are afraid. I mean, yes. with any change, people are afraid. And when it comes to crypto, especially to Bitcoin, that was the first uh, topic we heard about, the media, and of course the people in power, make sound like it's completely illegal. It's just for drug dealers, it's just for weapons, it's just for darknet stuff, and so really bad things. But here comes a big surprise. We are not the bad guys, you know? So the point is that, and that's what I wanna, wanna tell you, this is one of the stories we had this discussion yesterday because I said, I experienced in my, my life so many surprises from things you, you thought are right becoming wrong or things were wrong becoming right. And so this story here, I want to take you all, and hopefully I can make it, that you have this kind of epiphany, thinking of something was wrong, becoming right, or the other way around, you know? <laughs> so, of course, we are crazy, and that's what the media is telling you. People are yeah, betting on something, getting rich, super rich, in a very short time. But, I mean, this is just a picture, you know? I mean, the guys behind all the crypto are nerds. They are really visionaries. They are thinkers. And they all together are united in one thought to really make the world a better place. I mean, this is a big story, you know? This is kind of a, um, a bubble what, what everybody thinks. But can you, I really, do you really believe that only drug dealers and porn industries and so taking advantage out of it? It's not. We are in this space for more than 10 years now. And even if it looks like it's all illegal, 
Um, the idea behind this, it is a big global revolution. And so many people, of course, who are in, in power and charge today, I, I would say, start thinking, oh, there's something coming we can't control anymore. And so they, they try to really push back more and more. And instead of, we are seeing really global challenges the world is facing and nobody has an answer about. I mean, I, I'm using that, that slide for a while, you know. And today, we are, we are all clear about this is a global challenge. We had no idea about it. I mean, that came just out of nothing. And now we have to deal with it. And what we can see basically is that the governments and the polit polit uh, politicians, they cannot really deal with it. I mean, this is a global challenge. We have to take care on a global scale. And we don't have, we don't have a, a structure for that. And all the systems which are in place today, they are not able to do that because they are just focused on their very, let's say, limited view on, on the world. Same as climate change, yeah? climate crisis. I mean, when I used the slide first time, maybe two, years, three years ago, there was just guessing about maybe there's a climate crisis. Today we are pretty sure about it, you know. But we don't have a, a solution and the politicians are not really uh, taking care about it. I mean, that's exactly what we can feel. And last but not least, this is a chart I was using actually before COVID, this one. This is the money which got printed after 1972, the connection between fiat currency and gold was disconnected. So they just printed like crazy more and more money. And I thought this chart is crazy, you know, and it can't go forever. So that something will happen yeah, pretty soon. And then Corona came. So, and if you take this chart and put it here, we are here. You know, this is the red thing. And now Corona came and we are here. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, we are all think and, and nobody is really uh, 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 screaming or so, yeah? But I don't know what will happen. But something really important, impactful will happen, you know? So as I said, when we talk about crypto, we talk about the global revolution. And the revolution never was called legal. So that's why, of course, when we go, I mean, when I, when I say we, then I'm talking for the crypto community, we are going basically after all of these things. And what I try to make you understand that it's time now, of course, to save your assets, and secondly, to change the world in a way we have never seen them before. And the question is, what qualifies me to say something like that, you know? I'm just a everyday, regular, <laughs> normal mother motherfucker. No, I mean, <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I'm so passionate about it. And I have a little story. I, I don't want to spend too much time on that, but maybe that is something what just kept me curious all the time. So I was born in, on, on the east part of Germany, and I changed the side before the war came down. So just because I was curious, you know, I took advantage. <laughs> and I, of course, uh, learned something new. It was a big win for me. And I basically entered the real world as an employee. So my next thing of curiosity was that I became an uh, entrepreneur. So from employee to entrepreneur, started a company, 2000, we sold it, as you mentioned, uh, to Axel Springer, with an, uh, a revenue at this time of 300 million. And uh, yeah, after that, I moved with my family to Silicon Valley. We spent some time there. I really dived in the entrepreneurial uh, industry, invested in about 200 startups, and later on came back to Germany and then our crypto journey started. And uh, yeah, today, um, as I said, I'm, or as you said, basically, I'm in that field for many years now. Uh, I decided, I think it's at least two years ago, 
but I don't do any equity deals anymore. You know, uh, I'm only pure crypto just because of it's so much better and faster and stronger. And I mean, I just uh, uh, said to Paul when I, when I heard the pitch from Clarks, you know, I mean, I like this idea a lot because it's, it's the typical story, story of software is eating the world. I mean, what these guys do, they just bring software into this yeah, uh, business where nobody has a clue about software and they kill it, you know. But this is exactly what will happen with crypto to our industry here, you know. Crypto is blockchain. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, crypto is just a topic for yeah. over, overall, you know. So when we talk about <laughs> deals here and due diligence and uh, talk, uh, discussing uh, valuations and blah, 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 <laughs> this, this all will go away, guys, you know, and crypto will replace it. Yeah. So anyway, I think this is the biggest opportunity in our life because of for each of us personally, but also for the whole world. We will change so many things. And for me, it's pretty easy. And that's what I'm saying. Huh? Crypto is the answer to all questions. And crypto is the solution to all challenges. So actually, I'm giving this kind of speeches for, for a while. Unternehmertag, yeah? so uh, Connie uh, um, introduced me. And if you asked Connie, I don't know. When he hears crypto, then of course he, he thinks about me and then he calls me and so that's why I'm here. So that was a chart actually I really used 2014 and to show how the crypto, uh, the Bitcoin price was developing and everybody, and actually that was a day when the, the Nima tag wasn't, Absolutely. Uh, everybody said, oh, okay, now it's too late because it's so high and yeah, I mean, <laughs> too bad. So that was, yeah, we had a peak at 1,000 and we came down to, yeah, something like 600 or so. That was four years later, 2018. This looks very similar, right? So you think, oh, no, it's over, yeah, okay. But then I put the two things together, the two slides. <laughs> so that was 2014. And this was 2018. And, and many, people in, the, many people in the room said, oh my goodness, I should have listened. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that here, we, here we are today, you know. So I don't have the chart yet here, but I, I made it uh, uh, pretty simple. So <laughs> we peaked 60,000. We came down <laughs> to about 30, which is pretty much the same curve as always when I'm on stage. <laughs> yeah, so I hear that over and over again. You know, it's... <laughs> if you want to buy in cheap, then yes. So otherwise we keep them for ourselves. Right? Yeah, that's just a little side story uh, about the Unternehmer Tag, you know. Uh, so, but I'm not the only one who believe, is believing in, in crypto. So, meanwhile, I can see that really all the smartest guys in the world, which I'm following, I'm, I really, this is my inspiration. I mean, not only these guys, there are many, many more. Uh, but just one story to one guy, this guy here uh, on top right, uh, this is Tim Draper. Uh, and Connie is telling me this story again and again and again. Because I, I really, I can't believe it. He said, he was in, in the audience 2014, he was listening to my speech and he got so excited that he returned to the US and what he did was pretty crazy. So there was, you may remember the Silk Road uh, thing, where they got all the Bitcoins from the Silk Road and uh, later on offered them for public sale. And Tim Draper just bought them all together, 30,000 Bitcoins, and he paid about 20 million bucks for that. No. Which is, I mean, for, for today, uh, it's, it's very cheap, you know? <laughs> uh, so this, this 30,000 Bitcoin at the last all-time high were 2 billion. Quite a nice investment, guys. Yeah, and if his own uh, projection, because he is predicting that Bitcoin will be at 250,000 by the end of 2022 uh, of this year, 
then he made 8 billion, which is also not bad. So, yeah, this is one story. Another thing is, you may have heard about El Salvador last year, end of last year, the first country in the world accepting Bitcoin as their currency. So everyone in the company, uh, uh, country has to accept Bitcoin as the official currency. Another thing which is, yeah, kind of uh, funny in a way, Barbados founded the first embassy, official embassy, in the metaverse. So more and more things happen, yeah, which I think make pretty clear there is something coming, really huge. So, and the good news is, we are still so fucking early, you know? So this is the adoption rate of technology in the United States for all the different things. Telephone, cars, blah, 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 television, etc., etc. So how long does it take that basically everyone owns it or uses it? And Bitcoin is still here, you know? <laughs> We're about 10%. So even today, if you think, oh, you are late, no. you're not, you know? So, and as I said, I think we will see so much change in the future. I mean, dramatically change. So yeah, two other numbers, not my predictions. Predictions from, uh, I think this is Ray Kurzweil who, who gave these numbers. So by 2030, which is not far away, eight, eight, eight years, Basically, in artificial intelligence will be will obligate almost any job. You know, there, there's not much left. And by even 2045, uh, singularity is predicted. That means computers basically take over control everything. I mean, it's maybe scary, but this is the prediction. You know, uh, and we have another thing which fits so much, as well, uh, I, I, I like that, that picture because it's from a movie uh, and actually uh, Elon tweeted that uh, last week. I thought this is so on point, you know. When we are talking here about deals, you know, then we are on earth, of course. But in cryptocurrencies, one hour is seven years on earth. So we are moving so fast That's true. that it is, uh, yeah. It is really time to think about moving in and be part of it. So you have to basically make the decision like uh, in the matrix, will you take the red or the blue pill? Will you stay in the matrix? <laughs> or will you leave the matrix, you know? So, but the funny thing here, and, and this that's why I, I brought that, idea, uh, I want to just uh, uh, like think it for a while. So what are you trying to tell me, that I can trade my Bitcoin for millions someday? I mean, that's what many people think when they think about speculators. Oh my goodness. He's just watching you. Yeah. No, Neo, I'm trying to tell you that when you are ready, you won't have to. So what that means is don't think about selling your Bitcoin when you're in, at any point, you know? What you really should think about, since you are professional investors, how to move your assets in the new world, yeah? It's not a speculation anymore, it's just asset allocation, moving assets in a new asset class. So, don't, don't, uh, uh, yeah. Don't get FOMO, you know? So, whatever you do, uh, yeah, do it step by step. Uh, there's no need for a crazy move or whatever. Uh, so take your time, do your homework, and understand how crypto could uh, yeah, benefit you. To summarize that, don't be afraid. Take off into the biggest opportunity in our life because I think that will really change the world. So it will change your thinking of investing. And yeah, since I promised I would tell a bit and share a bit about the status quo, I don't wanna explain you what is a coin or blockchain and all these tiny things. I, I just wanna excite you about the, the vision, you know? And uh, 
what's the direction. Because at the end, of course, you have to do your homework. You have to get yeah, uh, uh, some, some hours done reading and, and thinking about it. And, and uh, one advice I would give you, don't try uh, to be in the position that you fully understand everything before you move in or before you take advantage or do anything. You will not understand everything in detail. It's so complex as really it is. You know, even, even we, if we are spending basically all our time with it, we cannot say that we are experts in that because it's so, yeah, complex. But, yeah, let me dive in some of these keywords because I think this is uh, essential to have an idea of what, what are they, they are catching, you know, and what are the, what are the uh, things are coming up uh, when, you, when you hear about, we have, of course, we talked about crypto a little bit, but what is Web3, what, is, what are DAOs, what is the metaverse, or NFTs? You, you may have heard about some of the things, but it's probably the same as what you heard about Bitcoin yeah, at the beginning. So behind each of these ideas are big visions, big ideas, and I just want to share this with you, okay? So crypto, of course, it's encrypted, decentralized, transparent, and trustless, blah, blah, blah. It is just a technology, and it's very sophisticated. It will take care about so many problems which we have today, uh, just by, by nothing, because it's basically part of the DNA of blockchains that we don't have to take care about so many things which are huge problems today. Web3 is a different thing in a way, you know? Web3 is kind of a philosophy. And uh, this is a quote which I read last week at the Crypto Finance Conference, St. Moritz. There was a guy on stage, he is also very early on. He is the founder of Mastercoin. And he had a t-shirt on uh, and which was written, uh, everything that can be decentralized will be decentralized. This kind of a mantra, you know? So, and if you, if you think about that, then it means there will be no central systems. There will be no central controls anymore. There will be no middlemen. There will be no governments. Now, so we will democratize basically everything because decentralizing means democratizing. So it will be, Web3 means it's all about crypto. Whatever you think of, any business, any whatever, the, the base technology, the base layer, is always crypto. It's all decentralized. It's kind of a new lifestyle. And uh, I don't know, when you have kids, or you know people in the age between 20, 30, they all have this kind of no clue what to, what to do with their life and which direction they should move, what they should study, what they should learn, blah, 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 because they are right, you know? it is really hard to understand what to do because most of the jobs which we see today, most of the studies which go into a position whatever, will just disappear. We will not have that anymore. You know, We will see new jobs and new things and so they all dream of this new lifestyle, becoming a digital nomad, don't have a 9-to-5 job or full-time uh, employee contract. They will not work for a company they want to be freelancers, they want to decide for which projects they want to work, where they are passionate about, you know. And they want to, yeah, basically enjoy their life in a completely new way. Because this is another idea, yeah. Today, we are all about our job. Yeah? We define ourselves about what are you working on, what's your profession, etc., etc. But, I mean, are we meant to be to work whole or a whole life or are there matter, maybe better things to do and that's exactly what what this generation is uh, facing and thinking about so what we see is the end of corporates because we are moving in new structures decentralized structures we will probably see the end of governments because we will ha have new ways of uh, taking care about decisions taking care about infrastructure it will be decentralized and we give back the power to the people. And you will take care about the street in front of your house 
or you will take care about the, the school, your, your kids move in. And so there will be so much change and crypto is basically providing the infrastructure for all of that. So we have some more keywords here, DAO, NFT, and metaverse. And there's one other nice picture. So after learning about Web3, the reaction for most of the people is, hey, listen, I quit. No, that's what I see, especially from all my friends from Silicon Valley. They are all quitting their jobs because they are all moving into this new Web3 world. And, and these are not, uh, the, the, I would say, the stupid guys who just do the cashier uh, or the, the car wash or what. These are the smartest guys I have ever met. You know, They are all going full power in this direction. So, yeah. Here comes the next really strange thing you may have heard about, it's the metaverse. So we all have heard Mark Zuckerberg telling us Facebook now becomes meta because he believes in the metaverse. And all, we, all it is virtual, 3D, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can believe that or not. The point is that people spend more and more time on screens. If you like it or not, that's what happens. And so the metaverse, or let's say our screen time, becomes more and more valuable for all services, for basically everything. Because if you spend most of your time on a screen, then you will spend most of your money on a screen. So I don't know, it's maybe 10 years ago when I said, my, my, my kids probably will spend more money for virtual goods than they will spend for real goods. And for Paul, I would say, yeah, he definitely did that. And I have a younger son, he's 14 now, the same, yeah. So this new digital environment becomes more and more valuable for all the kids. So it will become more and more important for all of us. And so this is basically the idea for NFTs. You have heard about NFTs? Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, these are all the, the landscape of the metaverse. Uh, I don't want to jump into that, but here you can see basically who is in that and what is the environment, yeah? how complex it is. So they, they all will basically move into the metaverse and will contribute to that. Yeah, uh, I don't want to forget this. This, even if we have touched that already, DAOs means Decentralized Autonomous Organizations. And this will become probably the replacement of entities which we know today, like corporates, like governments, like foundations, like funds, like all kinds of communities who organize themselves to stick to the roots, let's call it like this, or to ask the crowd, how should we do this or that? So we will have basically a software who's taking care of that in a very efficient way. And so, yeah, and we can see already that more and more DAOs are coming up with very, let's say, meaningful projects like uh, 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 scientists on longevity are in a DAO or climate action uh, uh, um, activists are organizing themselves in DAOs. So there are, and, and they are all meant to be global. You know, this is uh, from the first day on, if you set up a DAO, it's basically a global setup. So, and they basically are uh, the, the entities or the, let's say, uh, the structures where we can take care of all the global challenges. Yeah, NFT, I mentioned that already. It's, it's the next thing. It's basically a use case of a, of a coin, of, a, of a, uh, a token. So, but with the difference that an NFT is, you may have heard about NFTs like 
pictures, the bored apes, right. or the crypto punks. So, so these are tiny, tiny pictures, and they get they get sold for millions. Uh, meanwhile, crazy. crazy, totally crazy. And so this is like with Bitcoin, yeah. You only see the craziness. So nobody tells you about the smartness behind. And so NFTs are in a way so smart, like a computer. Yeah, you can do with an NFT basically everything what a computer can do. And an NFT is something which is able to transfer an asset, a digital asset, from one person to another person without a middleman. Yeah, so you can basically exchange assets uh, without anything else, just the two people. And we will see NFTs, here are some examples, what we all know right now is art, but NFTs at least have the potential to become our new identity cards, our membership cards, collectibles, digital twins. Pretty soon we will see from each item in the reality a, a digital copy replaced by an NFT. Yeah, memberships, even real estate. There are huge funds, meanwhile, investing millions in metaverse real estate because they are, they are uh, convinced that this will be a huge market. So, and it will replace, of course, many of the jobs I just mentioned before. Uh, like authenticators, uh, lawyers, notaries, fee collectors, so all these kind of businesses, yeah, they all get, go away because that will be fully automated. And um, the big deal of NFT is just because <laughs> there are three different markets, huge markets, moving together. Ah, this is really hard. So, this is virtual commerce, entertainment, and trading. You know, so that makes it so attractive today for so many people moving in. The, the big idea of NFT to understand is, if you imagine the metaverse will be kind of a parallel universe, and which, which is nothing worse today because we all know a, a digital picture has no words. Uh, so, but if you use this technology NFT, basically every item in the digital world, in the virtual reality, becomes some world. So, and if you think about, okay, we will have digital twins from every real item in the world, now in the virtual world, so we will ha have at least the value of all items on Earth in the digital world. So this is so massive, and uh, it opens basically and uh, uh, um, makes the metaverse even more attractive because so much money is in, so people can make money by, as I said, real estate, art, blah, 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 all, all of them. So this is uh, a big deal, and what you can see today already, that the top apps on crypto-focused businesses are all NFT based or the top 10 blockchains based on transactions are all also all NFT related. So NFT is the first, uh, I would say, a killer application use case for mass adaption from the crypto world. What is WAX? Sorry. WAX is a blockchain especially for NFT. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, basically that's my <laughs> old view. So now we have some very basic things. Uh, if there's somebody interested in, uh, who hasn't bought any crypto yet and wants to see, see the, the, the one, uh, uh, the easy start, you know, some easy words to that. Um, even uh, a more uh, uh, interesting, I think, at least, uh, what it could be a, a crypto investment strategy for professional investors. And uh, I don't want to give any recommendations or so. I mean, that's not uh, how I'm here. But I want to tell you a, a di uh, slightly different strategies what people do. I mean, first of all, of course, buying 
some tokens, setting up a portfolio of different cryptocurrencies, just the thing you believe in. You know, this is the plain vanilla, straightforward thing you can do. But meanwhile, there are also many uh, venture capital crypto funds out there. There's a link, you can see a pretty good uh, overview, um, which is probably an easy way to enter this field by just putting money in, uh, in a fund. Same with DAO funds. There are more and more funds uh, based as a DAO. That would be my uh, yeah, recommendation, or at least I'm interested in this much more than putting money in a VC fund. But uh, yeah, this is just a taste. Uh, stable coins uh, is another asset class in, within the crypto world. Uh, some uh, investors are pretty uh, strong on that. But there are also some, yeah, I would say, fancy things like staking, airdrops, lending, liquidity mining. These are all things which are a bit more advanced. Uh, so you have to really become kind of an expert to deal with that stuff. stuff. Another thing yeah. which I, 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 I just recently found out is token sets. This is kind of a fund, but it's a, it's a token which combines several other tokens, so you basically can, you can buy a metaverse token which combines different uh, uh, companies who are all, uh, let's say, contributing to the, yeah, Decentraland, etc. The uh, same for DeFi, um, uh, it's, it's the same uh, uh, idea. Yeah, okay, last but not least, um, one slide about some events. This is basically a schedule for the whole, whole year. Some yeah, crypto events, conferences who take place all over the world. Uh, if somebody is interested uh, traveling around and yeah, getting in touch with people from, from the world uh, of the crypto industry, uh, this is a kind of inspiration actually. This is uh, a schedule I'm following. Uh, I will not make all of them, but uh, plenty. And uh, yeah, one uh, event I just want to really point out, this is the Superverse event in Dubai in uh, February 2022nd. Uh, so we are involved in that. It's a startup which we are heavily invested in. Uh, who's organizing that? It's all about Metaverse, NFT, etc., etc. And yeah, the, with this uh, discount code, you even get 20% off. I think of the of the expensive tickets. There are some uh, some uh, cheap ones where you can just online join and so on. You, I probably don't get the discount there. Yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope we can make it for dinner. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, yeah. I guess we have yeah. some questions. Do we have some questions? Oh, I um, think so. Yeah, one one last <laughs> thing. If you if you want to educate yourself a little bit in that. Uh, the best option I can offer you basically is follow me on Twitter. I mean, Twitter is really the place to be if you want to follow what's going on in the crypto world. And I have curated Twitter in a way that I have plenty of lists. So if you follow the list Metaverse or I'm you can follow the list DAO, uh, then you, yeah, I, I did the work uh, finding the, the interesting uh, uh, guys uh, who have to say something about it, and uh, yeah, that's an easy entry. All right.